a lot of big name designers have come out in saying whether they will or will not dress Melania Trump. Now these designers are all established and they don't necessarily need any extra publicity. Plus they already have a fixed customer base and for customer loyalty, you have to be consistent with your brand and that includes brand beliefs. And I've noticed that a lot of designers have voiced an opinion that is very much in line with their customer base's beliefs. For example, if you're a brand that is a big part of the LGBT community, like Tom Ford, you are not going to be okay with dressing Melania. But if you're a brand that a big part of your customer base is conservative, conservative middle America, like Tommy Hilfiger, then yes, you're going to be okay with dressing Melania. Why? Because your customers are okay with it. But what about small designers who are desperate for exposure? I would love to hear the, de the decision that they would make. Back in 2009 and in 2013, Michelle Obama chose Jason Wu gown for both inaugurations. And back in 2009, Jason Wu was virtually an unknown designer. Michelle Obama helped to put him on the map as an American fashion designer. So for small designers, is all publicity good publicity? That is what some people think, but in this particular case, I don't know, it would be a tough decision. Or let's face it, Melania Trump could just throw us all a curveball and she could just buy a dress. There's no one stopping her from walking into a store and purchasing any dress she wants. Or more likely, she would be sending maybe an undercover personal assistant if she wanted to buy a brand that did not want to be associated with her. I'll admit that this is unlikely, but if she really wanted to throw up a metaphorical middle finger to the United States fashion industry, this would be the way to go. I'm Emily Keller.